Stephen Flynn. Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, when people woke up today in homes that they can't afford to heat with mortgages that they are struggling to pay to news that inflation is once again on the rise, they'll have looked to Westminster for answers. In PMQ's This Week, SNP leader Stephen Flynn summed up how I've been feeling recently about the Rwanda plan. He summed it up succinctly, exposing it as the dead horse that the Tories keep flogging while all around more important issues are being ignored. And instead they find a UK government which is tearing itself apart over how quickly it can send vulnerable people on a plane to Rwanda. Surely the Prime Minister must understand that the anger that some of his own backbenchers have towards him is no comparison to the anger that the public have towards his party. Those thoughts were also echoed by Labour MP Ben Bradshaw. This has cost £400 million for not a single asylum seeker. There are more Home Office ministers have gone to Rwanda than asylum seekers. It won't work. It hasn't worked. It's not going to work. We've had two bills trying to do exactly the same thing in the last year. One of them hasn't been implemented. The other one has failed. So this is all about who wants to lead the Conservative Party after the next election. A sensible immigration and asylum policy is being held ransom by a Tory party leadership contest, which should happen after the election, mm. not now, because nothing else is being done in this country. Britain isn't working. It, we need the government to focus right. on the things that Rachel. people actually care about and have sensible policies that work. Click here for a video about how Thatcher f***ed your brain.